doing a good, very good for Koisho, maybe for the All Japan Koisho. Good morning, guys. Um, welcome to day four here in Japan. And today we start the day again with a harvest at Terrazzo Koi Farm. And what's fun about this mud pond, it's not in the mountains in Yamakoshi. And the fun thing is we were here in June. Uh, I was here with uh, Omara and we did the feeding and checking of the Tanshos and Karashi Koi's. So today we start with the harvest with the Tansho Karashi Koi's. We have a fully packed program today. So I'm looking really forward to the results of this mud pond. And um, yeah, I will try to film everything with the GoPro again. I'm gonna try this one. Uh, in the last video, I think it was two days ago, I was recording 30 minutes of the actual harvest. Tried to save the material, memory card crashed. So today, we're gonna try it again. Uh, and um, let's see how that goes. Oh, that was on camera. <laughs> Sure, sure. When you're up here, you're standing in the air tank. Omara's checking the sex, and then they are deciding to which tank the koi goes. There's some Tansha Showas in there too. Great view to see this in front of up here. Yeah. 
with Steve and today uh, RS Consulting is here too. As always, most of the people have seen you in the other videos too, like a couple of years ago. So yes. <laughs> good to see you back here again from Germany, guys. Yeah. I expected some rain today. Uh, Steve told me probably at the end of the day. Look at that, guys. Uh, but it's still dry, so that's good. Yeah, so it's cloudy today. We had some rain, but the temperatures are uh, are high. Oh man, all those sounds in those cars is... I think it's Japanese. I'm going to Maruhiro, I just met up with Hunter. Uh, I don't know what they did this morning, but it was fun to see them again. I go to... Yeah, to Maruhiro. I think Hunter was searching for Jinrin Tansho, so I hope for him that he will find it there. I really need to go to the koi shop today. The, the thing is, when I'm in Japan, I always have plans and ideas, but I never end up going there. I think it... it, it I don't know what's going on. I think it has to do with there's so much to do here that I always have like... At the end of the day, I, I never feel accomplished. It's strange. I mean, for me, a day is good if I can make videos and show what I'm doing here in Japan. But I don't know. Uh, the things that I really would like to do, I always extending them. <laughs> like it's never... I'm never going there like for... I mean, yeah. So I need to go there today. So this is exactly how it goes. Every time I want to go somewhere, our plans change. We have to go to Isa, but in here, um, there should be someone that bought a big koi. So uh, there's my here koi farm behind there. So I'm going up there, just have a quick look about what they have. And the thing is here at my koi farm, you don't have to fall into this pond. So uh, I will uh, turn the camera around and Hello, how are you doing? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Good to meet you. <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> oh man. So this is the famous big round pond. This is uh, absolutely great. So it's not filled yet. He has to do his harvest and fill it up. Oh man, look at that Ochiba. Nice. Big Yamabuki. Oh, some big coins. Okay, so now he's uh, asking who will attend in this uh, sales event. And I'm here uh, together with a lot of people. It's uh, Ryuki Narita, number one koi. A lot of people here. So, a uh, lot of people. やっぱダメだわ。ダメだ。ダメだ。ダメだ。ダメだ。ダメだ。ダメだ。ダメだ。ダメだ。ダメだ。ダメだ。ダメだ。ダメだ。ダメだ。ダメだ。ダメだ。
So number one now is allowed to uh, pick his coin. Uh, Hunter has uh, Hunter. Yeah, I got number six, right? I got number six. Nice. And number one is going to the other pond, so I would have to do the same. It's so busy. Pass you. How much people are here? Really. You happy? Good. Ryoki-san, you want to explain why you picked this coin? Why? Why, yes. The, that one is uh, very good for Koisho. Yes. Uh, maybe for the All Japan Koisho next year. Nice. But this one is actually Kindai. But uh, I think soon it's coming up soon. So I choose this one. Nice. Thank you. Arigato. Well, that was quite a crazy event, guys. <laughs> there were like 50 people in there and they were all picking up koi. Um, so Hunter just picked out one koi, um, but we find it out. We found out that something was uh, wrong with the koi. Uh, things happen. Uh, we didn't see it in the beginning, so Hunter did put it back. Someone is calling my name. I don't know from where, but let's go back up there. So yeah, he's gonna pick another one. One very nice thing. It's great to see. I just saw Donald and Ray coming from the UK. Um, those are two amazing hobbyists that. I really like and they uh, yeah, just arrived. Uh, we will be joining some Harvest of Isa next week. So that's cool too. And for now we're going to the, one of the shops to buy some clothes. So um, it's uh, almost five o'clock. We ended up at Dainichi. And these are his uh, new black toy. Uh, so we're not talking about those, but we're talking about the black ones here. They're around 70, 75 cm. Actually, I don't know how to call the exact name, but uh, when the new side last year, you know, very black. Even I can see the pattern. Maybe a little bit inside pattern, but uh, I, I don't know what kind of pattern. But uh, right now we can see the pattern. Maybe next year more clear to see. Then, I don't know, two, three, after two, three years later, I don't know, you know, pattern, what kind of powder. Right. Yeah. Every year, you know. Yeah. Getting better, getting better. Very difficult to keep until the side, because inside so many, you know, 
ugly. Yeah. Everything ugly. But maybe future will. Is this Sunside? No, Sunside. Yeah. So no one's, no one's had a look at these koi yet. These are like brand new. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're the first ones to look at this. Oh, wow. 